What's up guys, welcome to episode of Pat Tate's Forward. Today in the driveway, we have a two-stroke. I know, you guys know how much I hate two-stroke, but this is for a very good customer, neighbor of mine, Ryobi CS26 that is here for a no start, no run. He dropped off two of these. One of them I was able to get running right in front of him. The other one I didn't and I says, dude, throw these in the garbage and get electric, but he doesn't listen. Anyway, he's a very good customer. We're gonna be fixing this at no charge to him. And I'll explain to you why at the end of the video. Nonetheless, this came in and I broke one of my cardinal rules is that when these machines come in for repair, no matter what it is, I just order a new carb kit because that carb kit comes with fuel lines, filters, everything, the, the whole shebang. This machine had broken fuel lines and I put new fuel lines in thinking that that would be the issue and it didn't still run. So we know it's carburetor issue, carburetor issue, because they hit it with some go-go juice. See how it runs and dies? That's fuel. By doing that, we confirmed the other facts that control a machine to run. We confirmed air, we confirmed compression, we confirmed time, we confirmed spark. Fuel is the missing thing. Once the go-go juice runs out, the machine stops running. So, went on good old, whoa, that's a really expensive camera to fall. Went on good old eBay and picked up this whole carburetor kit. The link in the description to buy this kit will be there. And it's going to have this adjustment tool, which we're gonna need. A couple of things you wanna take note of before you see how it comes if you want. Look. Gaskets and extra primer bulb is look here. Pay attention to these adjustments. There's gonna be an H and an L. Now, when this machine gets installed, the carburetor is gonna be like this. We know the H is gonna be closest to us, and the low speed adjustment is gonna be towards the machine. And then this is our idle. Usually, once in a blue moon, we have to make an adjustment on the high side. Please get the freaking kit. I'm gonna put two links in case you already have the adjustment tool to one without it. So the fuel lines have been already done. So we're just gonna, it's not a T25, idiot. Alrighty, so we're gonna get this right here. And what size Torx is this? T15. Maybe not. T20. T20. Final answer. And there we go. Righty tighty lefty loosey. We are going righty tighty lefty loosey. Now because these fuel lines broke, I don't know which one's top, which one's bottom, but we are going to, which one's feed and which one's return. But we will do that here as well. And you guys will know that as well. So let's pull these off. If these come off, get a squeeze with a set of pliers. Here we go, leave it like that. Okay, that gasket came out. Piece of shit. And then you see this little hole here, that's the way the gasket goes. So let's get our new carburetor. Went like this primer bulb up. You see how that hole will go right here. That's weird, there should be a gasket there. That's interesting. So that gasket that's missing, or should be there, will go right there. See, match up the wee pole with the wee pole. Put that back in. Oh, 
hook up our throttle. And then start these up. I think, if I remember correctly, because I did the few lines on this, the black line, which would be the one closest to the tank, that should have been the feed and the fuel line. So let's see. This should be feed. Is there gas in here? You dummy. Yes, there is gas in here. This should prime. Nope, right, so let's put that in. Here we go. So, your fuel line goes on the bottom. Now this guy's missing the air filter. So let's back this up. And then we're gonna give this thing a couple of rips and see how this is for first fire. And then any adjustments that we need, any adjustments that we need, we'll make using our screwdriver that was included. Remember the high side is closest here. So let's fire in the hole. Look at that. clear out. Now this comes pre-adjusted. I actually want to raise the idle a little bit. So let's do that. Let's raise the idle. Runs good. Right, let's give her the beans. Idiot, idiot. Now let's give it a little bit more power. Remember, the high side is this one right here at the end. So we're going to play a game of going left and right. To see where we'll open this thing up. good as it's gonna get. Oh, she's a little smoky. See that? Sorry, I hate two-stroke, hate two-cycle. You know what? Stay there, you piece of shit. Alrighty, so if you guys seen what I was doing with the carburetor as I was moving it clockwise and counterclockwise. And what I was listening for is you could hear the machine go up in RPM and then go down in RPM. Once it starts going, going down in RPM, go back the other way. And once it goes down in RPM, again, start cycling back and try and find the hack medium. You're gonna have to listen to your ears. So this thing's gonna be good to go. Call him up, tell him to come pick it up. And we're gonna call date. Why I'm not charging him for this repair? He lost a job due to COVID for two, three years. 
Um, he burnt up all his savings. But prior to that, he was a very good neighbor of mine, bring his equipment here all the time. I actually brought his lawnmower back from the dead. He locked up the motor. I smacked the piston down. Five years later, that, motor, that mower still ran. He had issues with it again. He decided to buy a brand new lawnmower and he gave me the lawnmower. So all I did was clean the carburetor, serviced it, and I sold that thing for $265. So that's why I'm not gonna charge him for this repair. All right guys, don't forget to link in the description to buy this part. We'll be here. Cheap weed whacker, cheap fix. All right guys, if you guys found this video helpful, smash like button, smash subscribe button. Guess what? I'll see you guys on the next episode of Pat Taste Performance. And don't forget to hit that like button because if you guys found this video helpful, somebody else will too as well. Spread the knowledge. All right guys, later.